This is now loser semis. Did you just say clay with a K? Huh? I thought but somebody said it's clay with a K. Alright, so we've got winners semis coming up. We got Maticus versus Atlas. What do, you, what do you think about what's about this match? Maticus is solid. He has all he has the core and he has the gin. Thing is, we have Atlas. We have the knowledge. We have we have more than core. We have a lot of damage there. We have a lot of, and we have a lot of coolness that uh, he has behind him. Guys, I mm. So you know how we spelled just clay with a C? It's a K. But I don't know if there's a way to edit, so just add another one. Like that? It's, yeah. Are you sure it's like that too? Are you sure it's not like K L? K L A I E. Are you sure? I think it is. I, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Shadow World. Atlas is a memer, but he's he's kind. Of <laughs> <laughs> so it was a Y, right? Was it a Y? You can't no, just. No, no, it was a Y. Sorry, okay. I, you said you wanted water. Yeah, thanks. So normally Atlas would probably be the favorite in this matchup, but he's playing Weiss because he's whack. <laughs> Whackless. Yeah. Um. Possibly in. Possibly in. Uh, Ooh, that was a nice. That was a nice Gordo assist. That like she was coming in on a, an assault. That Gordo assist. It's a very big hitbox. His entire scythe is that uh, hitbox. And it was very big. She just happened to hit it and got into a little combo. But the thing is, it's still Atlas, so it doesn't matter what you do. But it's Weiss, and you can do some stuff versus Weiss that we just saw earlier. She actually just whiffed her light auto combo, lift on the second hit of it. Weiss is one of those characters a lot of people consider to be fairly weak just because a lot of her things don't specifically do what they're Ooh. supposed to do. Like, that hitbox seems like it should be really high because the ice was... Goes but so it, high, just, right? it completely whiffed. Yeah, it's actually just a strip, like a small rectangle on the ground. And a lot of things, a lot of issues like that exist with the character. So there, So this is very much a match that Maticus could win. And while we, while I've been saying that used to make sense for Atlas's playstyle, in my opinion, um, it's still not as clean as his gang. It's not as clean as his Batista. Yeah. So uh, I, if I were Mac, it's not such a time. I would have gone with Turbulence to get that little more damage. The thing is, he's going for the, these mortal slides, and he's not in resonance. They don't do a lot of damage. But what they do do is they... Uh, Oh, he should have just yeah, he supered. Killed, right? He just he should have just supered. Uh, he I he was trying. Uh, Gordo has a corner loop combo where you um, diagonal jump and do a five C, um, uh, an aerial five C. Um, but the thing is, it's a very it's a very you need to have the setup. It's two lights, two mediums, and then you can go into it. It's a very specific way. And the thing is, if you don't have, if you don't know the right hit stun, you're they're probably gonna get out of it. And so in that situation, he went for something a little flashy, maybe a little something to build a bar. But he had the two. Should have just turbulenced, ended it there. But there is something to be said about trying out these different combo routes in bracket, right? You're never going to be quite as nervous. Like, you, if you can do something in friendlies, right? That doesn't necessarily mean you can do it in tournament, in clutch, when it truly matters. So there's something to be said about at least trying out these combos. Especially in, like, nice, uh, small uh, friend group uh, brackets like this. So a lot of people at home, you see, a lot of people understand that pe that we want to get better. Yep. I love the super. That super actually looks really nice. Oh yeah, the ice prison. Just it's a it's a lingering hitbox that does a lot of damage, kind of like uh Rachel's toad. <laughs> yeah, that toad a, man. Dude, paratoads are crazy. You gotta gotta respect lingering hitboxes like that, but as we were saying, it is Atlas. Except it's Weiss, and Weiss is whack. Okay, yeah, that was some solid damage. Oh, goes for the grab. Doesn't grab. matter. 
gets gets throw countered and un unfortunate. Okay, no, it's Atlas hasn't won three times twice. No, Mac. Okay, here's the thing about Mac is he's very good, but he has the tendency of getting tilted and not necessarily knowing and staying the sa like the same consistency the entire time. Like you can jack, you can mess him up a bit if you like. Say you take out like one of his characters really, really fast. Um, he may not. He probably won't be the best in that situation again. Even if you have like. If you show like a little bit of uh, weakness on that character again, it's just he seems to take character losses really hard, especially when they're early, and especially when they're happy birthdays. <laughs> Marcus is a good solid player. He does. It seems as if he lets the the wackiness of the of this being a tag game get to him quite a bit, and it's harder for him to keep pace with the wackiness. See, like, right there, that was a hit, and he had already re gotten back to neutral and reset. He could have continued to combo from there, but he just didn't. Gets it with the burst bait, and... And I feel like this is gonna be it right... Oh, uh, so maybe so something? Winnable, maybe. level 2 resonance. It's Gordo, he's got a big side. He has, he has damage. He doesn't have a lot of he doesn't have a lot of opportunities on his own, but he's going okay. He's cashing out early. Yeah. Okay. So, resonance. Res <laughs> Face out the throw and very doable, especially if he can. Oh! 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 That's oh. it. <laughs> Two slide do. Portal freaking slide. Turbulence, Maticus. Turbulence. I swear, it does more damage. Was a good conversion, kept things nice and compact during the last game. Like he could have gone for some flashier things off of his throw and stuff, but he just kept, kept it going. sweet and simple and allowed himself the time to really think about how he wanted to approach on on his wake up in, in this neutral. I think that's one of the more important things for um Okay, see right there, I believe he was trying to go for a burst punish, but he called it in too early and Weiss caught him. Yep. Weiss comes in, Weiss's uh, burst is interesting. She's very fast going in and she's very diagonal. But even, even so, all the bursts make impact at the same time. So, and it's harder to do on some than it is on others because you just get some more time. But overall, you can... You can use the same timing for each burst, but if you use it too early, in, like in that case, then the burst gets hit. And if you get too used to being able to do it too early, then you might not be able to get all the burst punishes that you should get. Oh, we had an active switch, but active switch leaves you a little bit, um, leaves you vulnerable for a quick second while your character does a silly pose. Dramaticus caught wind of the active switch and jabbed him out of it. Ooh. Able to take it, bring it up to two two. All right. This remember, this is loser semis. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins this goes on to fight Comfy Dubstep, and the loser is out. And this is a very interesting situation. Atlas is now on the ropes. He's pulling out the Yang and the Batista. He's but it's, pulling. He's it's, pulling out the. Oh yeah, I should win this. <laughs> yeah, is this truly on the ropes before he plays the Yang? Like that. Atlas as of late has been really, really keen to play all the other characters. Possibly, possibly just to have some more fun. Possibly in uh, part in preparation for the balance match that's coming up sometime this month. Regardless, he's been playing a bunch of other characters and just testing it out. But this is still his mainstay. And until you get to this point, you haven't truly fought the way that Atlas plays this game. Corner pressure. Solid corner pressure going here, going through the staggers, everything. DP's the clash, all right. Yeah, DP is always a solid option against clash. Where you could, you could also throw out a punch and it'll cancel it out. Um, but it's definitely a little more risky, especially if you don't know the timing for it. So, it's a very, it's a good answer, but it's a little hard to react. 
It's really good to be able to see that was anti air. A, that was a solid anti air there. Gordo with his two B having that all. Ooh, ooh. ooh. DP versus DP. Batista wins and backs up. Ooh, ooh grim nice, Reaper. nice DP. grim Reaper. That EX calls it. It's great. Yeah, it's. In this game, Grim Reaper is a very solid tool. It's good. <laughs> it hits everywhere, basically, especially the EX. And Sagar, but got DP for his troubles. DPs is in fact. This is a this is a lot of DPs. I mean, when in doubt, DP. Definitely. Unless you're unless you're Gordora, which is when in doubt, Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, you you got the undeniable night in your head. You know what? I should yeah. Grim Reaper. That was that was the one thing I wanted to do at the tournament, and that was Grim the Grim Reaper into Grim Reaper, and I did it. <laughs> oh, possibly getting hit out of the startup of 5B there. Oh, punishes the laser, not able to get a full convert, but Ooh, goes for the grab out of the uh, DP, not still, necessarily going for just the straight up uh, damage. It's still, still counted as a DP punish. He would have been able to to kill, but unfortunate drop, unfortunate yank things. But now we have Jin, and, and he, oh. no. when in doubt, Toga out. We got a, we got another Toga incoming. Yep. But he's getting that red life back. And this is definitely oh. doable match. Oh. <laughs> She's burning. Oh, he and he's grabbed. Unfortunate. See, Heart Magus has salt. I. Great job to Alice, but the thing is, Macus has solid play. He just doesn't make the right choices. Yeah, some some of his combo routes could definitely use some work. Some, um, even just grabbing that DP to be, uh, grabbing for that DP punish to begin with, right? He could have started with a really strong button and just done a fairly simple uh, combo instead that of that would have died within set. three within probably three mediums. Yep, that would have died within the auto combo. It's just he chose to go. He there's a lot of things that he decides to do that doesn't necessarily won't work out in the end because they're either not that damaging or they're not necessarily good for the long run. They're like, yeah, you can get a little bit here now, but what about in 30 seconds, in a minute? Where what does this situation put you in that time? And that is something that Magus needs to sit down and think of, especially when uh, in these situations. Like, yeah, he, okay, when you're Jin, yeah, you got, you have your, you have your playbook. You can ice prison if you feel like uh, they're gonna zone, start zoning you. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not there yet. 